Welcome to worship tonight. I hope this service is a blessing to you. Tonight is a renewal of baptism, but also a celebration of baptism. We have four individuals of this community who are going to be baptized tonight. And all of you uh, are going to have the opportunity to renew your own baptism. If you're not baptized, know that God loves you, that God cares about you, and God knows you. And if you would like to, at some point, come to the waters, we invite you to have a conversation with either myself or Pastor Craig and, and move in that direction. But tonight we'll be doing that, so you may get wet tonight. Uh, so just to give you a warning, so put your cell phones away, uh, anything valuable, because we do have water up here, and we're not afraid to use it. Uh, so <laughs> you, you may get wet, so just be aware of that. Um, but we are excited to, to be here tonight. It's just a great way, as we've been talking about the promises of baptism, to have, a bapt to have baptisms tonight. The early church used to use this time of Lent to prepare those who wanted to become part of the church. Because the early church was always nervous about who wanted to become a part of us. Because they were afraid that maybe someone was trying to come in to persecute the church. So they took them through a process. And oftentimes on Saturday of Easter, that night, they would baptize those who have walked through the journey, and then they would celebrate together the resurrection of Christ. So it is fitting that we have some baptisms tonight as we have been walking this journey of Lent uh, this, this last several weeks. Tonight we are splitting our offering between the Lutheran Campus Ministry of the University of Arizona and Lutheran Disaster Response. So 50% will go to each of them. Tonight will be our last offering for our midweeks. Uh, during Holy Week, on Thursday and Friday, we're not taking offerings uh, because that just kind of, the service is, is our offering to God. So if you uh, just be aware of that for um, the two Holy Week, Thursday and Friday of next week. Again, I invite you to come on uh, this weekend. We have our pa Palm and Passion Weekend. We have some special things going on this weekend to s help get you ready uh, for the coming of Holy Week, and then we invite you to come on Thursday and Friday, and then on Easter weekend to celebrate the resurrection uh, together as community. So again, the way tonight's worship service will work, um, you as members of this community are going to participate with those who are being baptized, but when it comes to the actual baptism, these individuals will be indivi individually baptized, but you will join in the profession of faith, and then again, Pastor Craig and I will sprinkle water out as we renew our own baptisms uh, together as a community, because as people of faith, we are called to walk every day in the renewal of our baptism, uh, because our baptism is not a one-time event. It's a daily washing of ourselves, being reborn, uh, new people in Christ. So each day we renew our baptism and the promises God has made to us. So welcome to tonight's worship service. I invite you to join with me as we begin with our affirmation of baptism. We celebrate this day, the baptism of those who will gather around the font and for our own baptism into Christ, we come to the water. We follow Christ's example when we were baptized who God has called. Baptism is a sign of the covenant between God, each of us, and the whole community of God. It signifies God's faithfulness. It testifies to the washing away of sin. It symbolizes rebirth. It embodies our adoption into God's family. It witnesses to the resurrection of Christ. In baptism, we come to the water where we put on fresh garment of Christ. In the waters of baptism, we are sealed with the Holy Spirit. Thanks be to God, by those grace we come to the water. We will now sing our hymn softly and tenderly. Jesus is calling.
We join in confession and forgiveness. Loving Jesus, strong shepherd, your love for us reaches from the cradle to the grave. There is no place or time or situation in which we are cut off from your care. Remind us of that love whenever we doubt our own worth, forget our blessing in baptism, or act out of fear or anger. Forgive us for finding life boring or predictable, filled with routine and sameness when you have placed us in a garden. God has turned our world upside down and surprises us with grace and joy. God, keep us forever in amazement as you restore our soul and lead us to the house of the Lord. Amen. Tonight's scripture reading is from the book of Romans, chapter 6, beginning at verse 3. Don't you know that all of us who are baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were therefore buried with him through baptism into death. In order that, just as Christ was raised from the dead, through the glory of the Father, we too might live a new life. For if we have been united with him in a death like his, we will certainly be united with him in a resurrection like his. For we know that our old self was crucified with him, so that the body ruled by sin might be done away with. That we should no longer be slaves to sin. Because anyone who has died has been set free from sin. Now if we are died with Christ, we believe that we will also live with him. For we know that since Christ was raised from the dead, he cannot die again. Death no longer has mastery over him. The death he died. He died to sin once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. In the same way, count yourself dead to sin, but alive to God in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord.
Grace and peace to you on this night. Remember God's promises and rejoice. Tonight we gather around the baptismal font. A reminder of what God promises to us in the life, death, and resurrection of Christ. That baptism is that entry in to the very real presence of Christ in his death and in his resurrection. And we as people of faith believe that this waters of baptism is God's work. God's calling. We say that no one comes to the waters of baptism unless the Holy Spirit brings them, calls them, enables them to come to this water. These four individuals that will receive this gift of baptism were are brought here because of the work of the Spirit in their lives. They have been a part of this community. They have heard God's word. They have partaken in God's presence in the meal. And now they come not only to make their own profession of their faith, but to hear the promises of God anew. Because the reality is our only hope is really on the faithfulness of God. That so oftentimes when we think about baptism, we think about us deciding to be baptized. But in reality... It is God who chooses us for baptism. It is God who is faithful to God's promises. It is God who proclaims to us, we are loved. And in the waters of baptism, we are reminded. But we are reminded in bread and wine. We are reminded in the life we live with one another. That the waters of baptism is a sign for us when we doubt. When we struggle. When we're afraid that maybe we're not all that God wants us to be. And we wonder, has God turned God's back on us? But baptism reminds us of the promise God has made. So tonight we gather around the font. Not only the four individuals, but all of us to remind ourselves of God's love for us. That somehow in this water we enter into the very depth and death of of Christ. And just like Christ died and was buried, we too in the waters of baptism are buried into Christ, trusting and knowing that we will be raised to new life. And this raising to new life is not some event in the future, it is a daily resurrection. Each day God once again renews us. Each day we put to death our old selves and we rise again with Christ. During these last few weeks, several people have asked, well, should I be rebaptized? And as Lutherans, we don't do rebaptism because we trust and believe it's God's promise. God has it forgotten. All right? Whether you're one minute old or 99 years old, God doesn't forget. God remembers the promise God made to you. So we renew our baptism. We remind ourselves when we forget. We, for, we remind ourselves when we have turned away and now long to be back with the one who loves us. But God remains faithful. In the waters of baptism, God claims us, marks us, seals us, so that when doubt comes, and it comes... We can proclaim, but I trust God more. I trust God more than my doubt or my fear or my unworthiness or my worth. I trust God more than I trust myself. Because God is faithful even when I'm not. So tonight we walk wet. We walk in the waters of baptism. And the promises of what God has and continues to do for us. Knowing each day when we rise up, we are made a new creation. And this is the day the Lord has made. And we can rejoice and be glad in it. Trusting God's faithfulness. 
So those of you that are online tonight and are not able to get the splashing of water, I invite you this night when you go to bed, and I invite all of us when we go to bed and we wash our faith, face, we mind ourselves in the waters of baptism, I am a child of God. Remind yourself and mark yourself with the cross of Christ, the seal of God's presence, the mark of God's on you. The mark that can never be taken away because it's based upon the faithfulness of God. So tonight we rejoice and we remember. We remember a God who is faithful and we remember a God who loves us and we rejoice that we get invited by the Spirit, to live into that new life, putting aside and dying that old self and rising again in the new life in Christ. May that promise fill you and give you hope this night as we enter next week in Jesus' journey to the cross. May we know that we walk with Jesus but just like he's placed on the cross, we too will rise with him in the empty tomb. Walk wet, sisters and brothers. Come to the water and be reminded God's love for you. Amen. At this time, I invite the ushers to come forward. We'll have the gathering of offering. At this time, I invite those who are being baptized, Bruce and Marilyn, Linda and Sandra, to come forward as well as their sponsors to the font and the water of God.
You can get a little closer. <laughs> I can't throw that for <laughs> God, who is rich in mercy and love, give us a new birth into a living hope through the sacrament of baptism. By water and the word, God delivers us from sin and death and raises us up to new life in Jesus Christ. We are united with all the baptized in the one body of Christ, anointed with the gift of the Holy Spirit, and joined in God's mission for the life of the world. I'll ask each of you individually if you desire to be baptized, so, so answer, I do. Sandra, do you desire to be baptized, called by the Holy Spirit, and trusting in the grace and love of God? Do you desire to be baptized into Christ? If so, answer, I do. Linda, called by the Holy Spirit, trusting the grace and love of God, do you desire to be baptized into Christ? Bruce, Called by the Holy Spirit, trusting the grace and love of God. Do you desire to be baptized into Christ? If so, answer, I do. And then Marilyn. Called by the Holy Spirit, trusting the grace and love of God. Do you desire to be baptized into Christ? I invite you as a congregation to answer this, these questions along with those who are being baptized. Do you tend to live in the covenant God has made with you in holy baptism? To live among God's faithful people, to hear the word of God, and to share in the, whole, in the Lord's Supper. To proclaim the good news of God in Christ through word and deed. To serve all people, following the example of Jesus, to strive for justice and peace in all the earth. If so, answer, I do, and I ask God to help and guide me. I do, and I ask God to help and guide me. Sponsors. Do you promise to nurture these individuals in their Christian faith as you are empowered by God's Spirit and to help them live in the covenant of baptism and the community in the church? If so, answer, I do. I do. People of God, do you promise to support those who are baptized and pray for them in their new life in Christ? If so, answer, we do. We do. I ask all of you gathered to profess your faith in Christ Jesus. Reject sin and confess the faith of the church in response to the questions is we renounce them. Do we renounce the devil and all the forces that defy God? We renounce them. Do we renounce the powers of this world that rebel against God? We renounce them. Do you renounce the ways of sin that draw you from God? We renounce them. The congregation, please stand. Do you believe in God the Father? I believe in God the Father, mighty creator of heaven and earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God? I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He ascended into hell. And the third day he rose again, he ascended into heaven, and it is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe in God the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. You may be seated. We give you thanks, O God, for in the beginning your spirit moved over the waters, and by your word you created the world, calling forth life in which you took delight. Through the waters of the flood you delivered Noah and his family, and through the sea you led your people Israel from slavery into freedom. At the river your son was baptized by John and anointed with the Holy Spirit. By the baptism of Jesus' death and resurrection, you set us free from the power of sin and death and raise us up to live in you. Pour out your Holy Spirit, the power of your living word, that those who are washed in the waters of baptism may be given new life. To you be given honor and praise through Jesus Christ our Lord in the unity of the Holy Spirit now and forever.
<laughs> so I'll have you kind of lean over, and I have a napkin for you for you to wipe your forehead. A beach towel. Take your glasses off. We don't need to baptize them. Okay, I'll lean over a little bit. Then I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, Sandra. Yep, there you go. Yep, there we go. I baptize you in the name of the, uh, of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let it go in peace. Amen. Amen. Bruce. Bruce, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Hey, you want to get those napkins? Yep, <laughs> there we go. There you go, Sandra. Okay, <laughs> Marilyn. <laughs> it's a lot of water up here. Okay, Marilyn. I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. We give you thanks, O oh God, that through the waters and the Holy Spirit, you have given your daughters and sons new birth. Cleanse them from sin and raise them up to eternal life. Sustain them with the gift of the Holy Spirit, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord, the spirit of joy in your presence, now and forever. Amen. Linda, you are a child of God, marked and sealed with the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Sandra, you are a child of God. You've been marked with the cross of Christ and sealed with the Holy Spirit forever. Amen. Bruce, you are a child of God. You've been marked with the cross of Christ and sealed with the Holy Spirit forever. Marilyn, you are a child of God. You've been marked with the cross of Christ and sealed with the Holy Spirit forever. Amen. You want to start? Okay. Got lots of candles. Jesus says, he, Jesus is the light of the world. This candle represents the light of the world. Jesus says, whoever follows me will have the light of life. This symbolizes the light of life given to you through the gift of the Holy Spirit and lived out in your baptism. It has been a joy and pleasure to get to know you in these Days as we've had conversations about this, and we are excited to see how God will continue to work as God has brought you to this place into these waters. I invite you, as the body of Christ, to welcome our newly baptized. I invite you to turn around and face the congregation. We actually even have words for you to say. So here we are. Here we go. We welcome you into the body of Christ and the mission we share. Join us in giving thanks and praise to God and bearing God's creative and redeeming word to all the world. Here's, here's your baptismal certificates. You can blow out your candles now. Sandra, there you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Now, you may have thought that you got away without getting wet. Fear not. And these are not easy to find. Evergreen boughs. So we went hunting high and low to find these. So we are going to use these tonight. Uh, so we're going to remind ourselves, the evergreen bough reminds us that God is everlasting. And that our life in God is everlasting. And the waters remind us that we are called to walk as people of God in our baptisms, in our trust of God's faithfulness. So tonight we are going to sprinkle you. 
and we want you to remember your baptisms. And we invite you, as you uh, receive the waters of baptism, if you so choose, to mark yourself with the cross of Christ. To remind yourselves of what God promised and the seal God has placed upon your forehead and upon your heart and upon your life. Yeah. Come to the waters of baptism. You don't come, see? <laughs> this works really well. It does. It does. <laughs> And I know you try to sit in the back thinking you can get away with it, but no, it's everywhere. <laughs> oh, you thought I missed you, didn't you? Yeah. I'm having too much fun. <sighs> I think it's my part. Right? It's yours. Hey, guess what? We're going to pray. <laughs> Let us pray. Merciful God, we thank you for these people whom you have made your own by water and the word and the reaffirmation of their baptism. You have called them to yourself, enlightened them with the gifts of your spirit and nourish them in the community of faith. Uphold these, these your servants and the gifts and promises of baptism and unite the hearts of all whom you have brought to new birth. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. May God take you deep into rivers of blessing, lead you beside refreshing streams, and anoint you with the waters of, of everlasting love. Oh, Amen. I invite you to please stand for our sending song. Walk each day wet and walk into this holy week confident of God's love as we come to the waters. We walk in confidence. Amen. Have a blessed night.